us to see if if uh, the girls can come on. This is great. This is actually, this is nice to see you. This is awesome to see you. I know that we had some group going on. This is like exciting. I don't know. I feel excitement here because I see, I see the peak freak girls and I see like Diane that hasn't been at the gym for a while. So this is nice. So we're going to give a moment. Hopefully more people will join. However, I have a Facebook here too. That Facebook group is open. Somebody's coming on. Let's see who that person is. And yes, if you can click. Oh, Ita, we are on Zoom. So if you can click on a Zoom because on Facebook, it's just additionally today, just because I wanted to hear from you girls. So I'm going to give you the rules in a second. So we are staying organized throughout everything. Uh, everything is like planned out. So we have like strict uh, following instructions. And then we're going to have like a moment that we can actually speak and talk and exchange information. So Ita, come on board with that Zoom. The Zoom is on our Facebook page okay she's watching I hope she can I hope you can do it maybe you can do it but I'm just giving you an option right now so I'm gonna give a moment oh my goodness nice so now look this is like few of us I see like five of us five of you now hopefully this group will grow and we're gonna have hundreds hundreds of people like joining us this is gonna be like the movement <laughs> the no excuses ladies right all right well you know we just going to start i think so what time is it four after if somebody will join and admit i can pretty much just go to the beginning but here is the thing we're gonna record this uh we're gonna record this zoom meetings because i want to have these questions that you can post i want to be able to always review it and oh kristen is coming okay awesome and i want to be able to to get back to you so here are pretty much the rules of operating here today. Stay muted throughout the whole time. If you want to open up your chat so you can actually send information to everyone, you can interact with each other, obviously, like private chat. That's like we've been doing for a long time. Have your camera, have your camera, um, have your camera always like on if you can obviously if you're going to the bathroom just have your camera off right <laughs> but stay stay with your camera so we can see each other and keep on in this chat keep on sending information so i can see it and if you really want to like take part in the discussion raise the hand and i will try to pick it right now it's a small group so this is not going to be a problem but in the future right if we have 100 people we cannot unmute ourselves we kind of have to put a chat information raise the hand and i will try to pick a person because that's how i see this so ladies this is our first meeting thank you so much for coming on board let me explain it to you what this what this group is all about this group is about creating a priority and finding the no excuses mindset in everyday life so you can stay congruent with your vision and you can create the life that you really wanted because the no excuses, as many of you know, you've been at the gym, a lot of you join a peak physique, a lot of you got the, the results by creating the no excuses mindset. But, I, but besides creating a health and, and healthy life and creating like, uh, you know, a good life for yourself in this aspect, there are mo more things in life that we can all achieve. And I believe that every single one of you in this group would like to succeed in something in life, that every single person in this group has something to offer to another. Don't, do you, do you agree? If you agree, send like a heart or something, do some emoji. And at this, there you go. And the other is going like this, because at this time, oh, uh, Ita is saying that Zoom is, uh, uh, you say the Zoom link is invalid. Uh, hold on, Ita. Hold on. How we can do this? Who came through the Zoom link? Raise your hand on the Facebook. Eliana, would you do me a favor and post that Zoom link or send Ita a Zoom link, please? Can you do that? Thank you so much. Eliana is like my right hand with everything. She's just always on board. Thank you for being a part of this. So I believe 
that every single one of you have something to offer. So right now, write in comments, write it down. What is that you're trying to achieve from that group? What is that that you're looking for to scale? Maybe you want to scale in your business. Maybe you want to start the business. Maybe you want to, um, um, you know, improve your life or lose some weight. Just write it down. So what the ultimate goal is, because now I'm going to go back to the, to like the, the story that I want to share with you. A lot of you know my story, but a lot of you have no clue about the story. And I always, when I would join the different workshops, different meetings, I was always wondering why on earth this, this person is telling me their private story. And later in, the, in life, this all makes sense. Every person, I don't know if you've ever gone to any workshops, just write it down and I will see in the chat here. Uh, if you've ever done any workshops, if you've done any workshops in your life, please write it down. Like it can be, you know, helping you with the business or, uh, or uh, learning something specific. Write it down in the chat if you've done any type of workshops or seminars. Because when you see people going on stage, they always say that story. And the story, th th then later on, it clicks in you. Wait a second, this person did that story purposely to show me something, to teach me something, right? And that's what I want to, oh, hi, Tracy. You can click on the link on, on that Facebook page and you should be able to, to get in. Try to click on that Facebook page link. If not, I will send you later or Eliana, Eliana, Tracy, Tracy Despaltro is on it. If you can send her a link or go on the Facebook page so we can add that link to the Facebook page. Our no excuses, ladies. Can you do that? Okay, so um, this is the story. This is the story. I came from Poland, right? 20 years ago, I came to America. But how I came, how I showed up here in this country was something that till this day, I can't believe. Because I had a vision to go to across the freaking Atlantic Ocean. I did not know how and how I'm going to do this, but I knew that I have to do this because I need to make money and get out of, uh, you know, and get out of, the, out of the of the comfort zone that I was at. My grandparents always was, were helping me. They were always there for me, no matter no matter what. My I was raised by a single mom. That was never in the picture. And all, all my life, so I felt like I am the supporter of my mom. That was always the thing that I felt like I have to lift her up. I have to help her with anything. I felt like the, 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 the man of the house all my life. And when I created that vision of me coming to America, let me tell you, the vision was on a map. I put a click on Sacramento and I said, I want to go to California. Well, I ended up in New York, as you know, because we opened up the gym, right? 20 years ago. But now I'm, I am in California. I believe that I have a mission, something greater to help and share and help people to achieve something in their life. I strongly believe in that. But the whole idea of going here was to just make money. I didn't think about, uh, you know, going and open up the gym. I just had a short vision. I just need to make money so I can come home and invest. I never thought about just going and living in America. Thank you, Aliana. I just see this link. So look how life changed. What is it? Okay. Thank you. I see it. Okay. So I had, so I, what I wanted to show you in your light, that, that something in, in life, you, you might not see it yet but you have some kind of a picture that you want to do. And as you go along, this thing will change and it will improve and you will find yourself with it. So quickly, shortly tell you this. I came to America after being denied for three or four times, trying to go through all these distant steps and it seems like it would never work. And when I came here, I worked three or four jobs because I wanted to make money. And as I was doing this stuff, I started feeling like I'm missing something. It was, it, was an, it was impossible to hold these jobs and do them because I was not fulfilling what I was meant to do. Because I study physical education in Poland. I'm supposed to be a teacher at school and teach the kids, uh, you know, physical education. 
But I thought that this is too small for me, that I need to impact more life. That yes, impacting kids, that great, but I felt like that is something else, right? So because I loved fitness, because I loved always, I was working out, I always was uh, very into fitness. I thought, you know what? All this time that I was in America, I stopped training. I, st I stopped moving. I was just working. And I realized I cannot do that. I have to go back to what I really love. And as I start going, shifting and start working out back again after what I missed for so long, let me tell you, this was like a click in my head. I'm like, what am I doing? This is my purpose. This is my passion. This is what I came for. This is what I should be doing. And that's how it all fall into place. I start studying. I start passing the tests. I start switching jobs. I start training people. And then, of course, I met Steve along the way. And boom, Steve appeared. The bald guy appeared with his sexy glasses. And I'm like, this guy is mine. <laughs> Just to make you laugh, he always talks about this. He says that he met me in a club when I was dancing on a pole. But, you know, this is not a true story, all right? That's not. I love dancing, but I wasn't there. So anyway, that's how we met. And we. I was already in the process of changing things, working out, studying for my test. And uh, he, he had the peak physique himself, personal training. And four years later, we opened up peak physique fitness. So you see how things falling into place. So please write it down. I see, I see Paula. Hold on. I see Paula information. I want to go back to this because I, when you guys will be writing it down, Paula, I hope it's okay. You wrote, you wrote to everyone. Okay. Empowered women. Okay. Uh, to grow my business, Josephine is saying just around, uh, just all around succeed and everything in my life. Okay. I have gone on conferences for my business and done online classes. Awesome. This is great. Paula is saying that would like to grow my ministry, be consistent and accountable, be able to do things with excellence and have gone to leadership conference and training. Very nice. Yes. Paula is also a part of Herbalife team. Yes. Uh, currently in law in empower uh, class, which help build leadership skills for women. You see, this is wonderful. So you trying to find the ways of impacting, trying to find the congruency with your vision. But first of all, I need to ask you a question. What is that? Like Josephine has a vision. You are very artistic, right? And I know you personally, so you do this. Uh, Paula, I know about your ministry. But all others of you, what is that that you love to do that doesn't feel like work? That you're just feeling so, so just flores, just like, Okay, I can do this all day long. I feel awesome. I feel great when I do this. It's good to ask yourself that question. And it almost feels like you can spend hours and hours of doing it or when you actually prepare these things and, and, and making things uh, uh, to happen for you that you feel like you can spend totally an entire day. So this is very important to find out today. And... As, as we go along with this, because I said we have to find the no excuses mindset. What is really no excuses means to you? Like write and write down in comments. What is the no excuses mean to you? Because if we find what the, what, what the description is, I think it's going to help you to find a way in your life that how you can direct your life, what you can do in your life. Because yes, no excuses. What is no excuses? Write it down. I know that a lot of you like know what means no excuses. I would love to see that in the chat, what that means to you. I feel about, there is, for me, the description is so, so full. It's like trying to, to, to do your best, following through, not giving up. Not, not, uh, not convincing yourself otherwise, right? Uh, keep on going. Finding that no is not the answer. That if somebody says no to you, it doesn't mean that you're done, right? That you keep on going. Also learning how to say no to others for your purpose. Like if somebody is saying to you, oh, let's do this and this, you will say, I'm sorry, no, because I have to say no to you so I can, I can stay congruent with your vision, with your purpose, right? What else? Being committed, being unstoppable, B 
being ready to start something. I love this. Eliminating roadblocks to meet your goals. Exactly. Because ladies, stuff will happen in your life. I mean, life is full of roadblocks, right? This is, this is what life is. I'm not saying that it's uh, like, oh my God, life is brutal. My mom sometimes says this. But she truly believes in that, I think. Life, it will happen, happen for us. Life is for us to fulfill, to make it bigger than it is. Your persona, your personality is on this earth to shine. That's how I see. Like every single one of you have something so unique and so special. But you need to tap into that, into, into that personality. You need to tap into this. So as we go, we have to go through these things because we need to find how we're going to find the new excuses. Now, let, I want to see in the comments is have you been following up the no excuses mindset? Have you been really doing what you're supposed to do? Or you've been avoiding something recently because it's been hard or you don't find the time, which is no excuses. Or maybe you have no funds, which is you know, no excuses. Or maybe, uh, you know, you're letting other people run your life, which is no excuses. Like, write it down. What is stopping you from doing something right now? I wanted to see this right now, right here. Uh, taking action, regardless of setbacks, external options, eliminating roadblocks. That's what Kristen said. It. I, I love it. Yes, and ladies, we need to establish this. Like, you need to, we're going to be doing some homework. I, I prepared something for us as well. But you need to find out what is the number one obstacle right now from stopping you to achieve what you have in mind. First of all, you have to have this in mind. That has to be established. Like, you have to know what you want to do. Number two, write this down, please. What is stopping you right now from doing the thing? What is it? And share it. Share it with us. Please share because I want this to be like interactive and I'm going to pull a person in just a second out of the group. So uh, you can tell me like what's happening in your life that it's stopping you. Because if you're going to establish this, if this is maybe a time or maybe funds or maybe, you know, financial reasons, then you have to find a ways to go over this, to cross that roadblock, to overcome the obstacle. Because if you don't, you will never do it. Let me tell you, when I created that page, I had like, I had like a spark in me. Like, I am like, we need this. We need the support. And when I created this, all of a sudden, like a fear, it came over me. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh my God, I, can I do this? Like, is it, is it, is it okay? Should I do this or should I not? Maybe I am not at the, per maybe I'm not the person to do it. But then I say, hold on. I've achieved so much in life that if I don't share this, someone else needs me out there and maybe they will come across that page and they will be able to do that. And if I don't do it, I am not going to help that person. And this was, that was one thing that helped me to do this. Because I was starting convincing myself that maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe it's just not needed. Maybe I, I am not needed or maybe uh, it, this is not going to work. I see a, one new message. Let me see. Courage to jump into it. Self-doubt. Okay, so Ita is telling, is telling that you have self-doubt. This is exactly what I said right now. So, so Ita, what you need to do is... If you established what you want to do, the action behind it will beat the anxiety. Let me tell you, that's what I did. I went for it. I organized, I did that Facebook and I started sending messages and I said, there is no way out of it. <laughs> there is no way out of it. I remember Eliana and Ita joined me on that, that room on, on our Facebook page. And once I announced it, I'm like, damn, I did it. This is done. I'm doomed if I don't follow through. Because if you don't follow through, it's going to work like, it's going to look like you, you're not committed. You're not consistent. 
you have to do it. So if you have a group already, even if it's one person, if it's two people, does not matter how big it is. Just reach out to them because you start small and you're building. So I wanted to tell you that look how big physics happened. Let me tell you, go back to peak physics so you have a, a moment of clarity here. When we started peak, we opened up in Spring Valley. I had a, one customer that come, came to my classes. Besides the people that we had a one-on-one -on -one training with, I had a one person in my class for like weeks. Did, did this stop us? No, even though we had to pay $5,000 for rent. So you start with one and you build to two and you build to three and you build to four and more. Never stop. But there will be tools and we're going to go over this here, how we can create, how we can, um, you know, help you with this vision, how you can send emails, how you can reach out to more people. We're going to go over this eventually. But right now we need to set the foundation. I just wanted to prepare your head into no excuses that you need to follow through even with one person. And you're going to build yourself with the consistency, with the commitment, with being stubborn, with being stubborn to your goal. Hold on. I see Josephine is saying here, no excuses is commitment to greatness. Love it. Achieving the impossible. Don't give up. My issue is I have so much in my mind I want to accomplish and then I get overwhelmed. Yes, Josephine, this can happen. So this is the thing. Simplicity is the king, meaning if you have 10,000 ideas at one point, which you probably have because you are very creative, you got to choose one. Right now, out of that list, you got to choose one, the one that will bring you money, the one that will send something out there into the space. And excuse me? Something that will, okay, you got to think, write down those ideas. We're going to go over this, how we're going to be doing those daily things. Write down these ideas that you have. You have to write them down, list them. Now, think out of the whole list, the most important three that will give you an exposure that you can make some money on that will give you more satisfaction the most satisfaction you need to pick out of that list because if that list is 10 and I'm sure that a lot of you have this, you, you, you won't be able to do it all. It's impossible at first. So you need to pick three and then see a look. Okay. Out of the three, what do they require? How much financial, how much time, how good I am at them? What can I, how, how soon I can start this? Okay, and just go for this, but you need to eliminate them. Remember, I can tell you from my own, uh, from, from what's happening uh, in my own life. There was a lot of ideas during COVID because we had time. But then think like this. What is, you, 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 you are very, as I said, you are very artistic. You create things. You used to do the, uh, face paintings. Now you had to pivot your business, correct? You had to do uh, some balloons and other things, right? Yes. So now out of this thing, creating maybe the balloons, you have talent. Don't spread yourself thing to, I don't know, writing, um, writing a book about it. Maybe creating a YouTube channel. I think you did that. Posting videos every day, being consistent, creating maybe a Facebook page, Finding out how many, uh, what followers you had from from uh, from YouTube, getting their emails, sending these people message at least twice a week on what you offer, how you can improve their life with what you do. If you do this for parties, you can do this for parties. I'm just being very direct because I kind of know what you guys what you do. That's why I said this, but exposure to these people so you can reach them directly and eventually you're getting a customer and following through. That's how it starts. Look, what we did here from group that we have a private on Facebook, I created this group, right? So I'm not creating totally something different. 
I'm exposing myself to people that are already in. I'm creating this group within. And with this group within, other things will happen. And I know this. I know this for sure. Okay, Kristen is actually sending a, an, an information. I've got to jump off, ladies. I have someone on their way over. I can't wait to connect again next week. Thank you for organizing this, Eva. Awesome. I will be actually posting our, our little homework on our a Facebook page so it's easier for us and you can just do this daily but ladies as I mentioned to um to Josephine overwhelming is a state of mind that all of us get but writing this stuff down eliminating to the most important things writing the goals daily Creating the success of, of yourself daily and seeing what moves the needle. Because if you're going to start having crazy and so many ideas, you're going to be at the same place stuck. But most people, most of you look to expose yourself, right? To reach to more people, to make the money. So what can you do right now? What can you do in life that will improve people's life? Like, what is that that you can provide to them so you can help them? That's the service. It's all about servicing. It's all about uh, creating that venue. Because let me tell you, during COVID, I started writing my own book. I did 50 pages. I did 50 pages. And then it hit me. Okay, this is not the most important thing in my life right now. Let's just leave this. It's okay that I started doing. One day I will do it because that's my goal. But... It's not the most important thing. The most important thing was to pivot the business, to get more people on it. And now I focus on this and look what's happening. Remember, what you focus on, it starts coming to you. So if you focus on getting more clients, you're going to get more clients. If you focus on growing your business, focusing, you're going to grow your business. It's always like this. It, it, the intention is there. But if you're spreading yourself in all these different directions, if you are a person that wants to open up your business, but then work for someone else and you want to grow your business, then you're just like, okay, which direction am I going? You need to pick one and stick to it. And what you're good at, be great at. What you're good at, be great at. Be the best at. I started studying sales recently and I am just banging the sales right and left. Why? Because I focused on it. I decided in my own self that I'm going to be a great salesperson. But I don't treat sales as sales. I treat as I am helping people, as I'm just helping someone make a decision. I don't never treat myself as a salesperson. It's just harsh. I just like to connect with them so I can shake them and say, listen, you are 100 pounds overweight. You can't just say no. Right? You have to find a way to do this. And that happened to a lot of you. Sometimes you just need a coach and you are an influencer. Remember, you are a person on, of influence if you have a service to deliver. So each time you think, I cannot do this, think about the people that are there waiting for you. Like Josephine Balloons. She can help and create the most amazing experience for people's parties, uh, you know, people, kids, kids, uh, uh, birthday parties, right? You help them create that amazing story. And I, and I wanted to see some other comments. I'm just trying to see Ita, Ita, Ita. Okay. Ita, no doubt. L literally, the doubt will always creep in inside of you. But the action, start doing today. You got to do something today that will prepare you for action. Because if you're going you're gonna to dwell on self-doubt, you will never move forward. That, that's like me with opening up the page. So what I wanted to do today, ladies, we didn't touch much uh, on our daily like routine and schedule. But if you're going to think that time is or scheduling yourself or creating a good schedule for yourself is one of the things that really is so difficult for you. And that's why you realize, oh my God, I'm running the household. I'm running the kids to school. I'm trying to run my business and I have no organization in my life. I'm going to post something 
that you can do daily. And this, this is going to almost be like a daily routine for you to help you. And this is going to be posted on our Facebook page. It's all about creating the health, making sure that you're eating right, that you're eating every two, three hours. That's what we say on, on peak, at Peak Physique because you need to have a good energy when you're trying to create something, right? Because what's going to happen if you put your mind into creation and then at the end of the day, you realize you didn't eat anything, you don't have a good energy and then you're going to start eating too much and you're going to find yourself, oh my God, I gained 15 pounds because that's what happens. So you need to stay very aware of it and hold on somebody just posting a new message i love photography i need the motivation and and not be afraid to start here you go here you go you just found something within you that you love photography great hearts love photography great people and i have plenty of those great people here go for it just start that's it what you can do that's it start and we're going to figure out and I'm going to help you with the tools how you can do this. Okay? So, ladies, we're going to create this. It's a, let me tell you how many, how many really questions is that. This is a daily accountability for you, okay? Every day, you can, you can, it would be nice if you would ask those questions, answer them on a page. And, uh, or you can do, we can do this once a week right here. Just let me an idea. We, I don't want this page to be like overwhelming. Oh, here we go. Another Facebook page. I barely can keep up with this. I don't want this page to be like this. I don't, because I am not, I don't let, uh, the, uh, you know, social media overpower me. I don't search and look for people. I have few people that I follow. I am very aware of my time and I, I don't want to spend more time. So I think you don't want to do this too. This 12 questions will be for you to answer for yourself. Just write them down in your notebook and then we can review them kind of quickly next week. And you want to point things that you slack off. That's, I think, the best idea, right? So we don't need to do this every day because otherwise it's going to be uh, too many posts. And if we're going to have too many people, I will never be able to look at it. So do this for yourself. There's going to be a 12 accountability questions and I'm going to post this take them in answer them daily and see where you lack it where, where you really sucking at and then we can take it from there but today also what I wanted to ask you some of you posted what was your biggest struggle what are your expectations of the group some of you actually answered this question uh, when you were signing up uh, like what are the expectations of the group uh, what are you trying to improve? And and just submit them, submit them. Or if you didn't have the time right now, maybe post them on the Facebook page. So I will have a clear idea of how things, bye guys, of, of, of what's happening in your life. And listen, I am so open to feedback. I really would like to um, get some information from you next week. So um, give me some feedback for next week let me know what i can improve with or maybe you want a specific subject specific things i would like to have a subject that we discuss on and then you can kind of write the questions on i i don't want to jump all over but sometimes things happen in your mind and you have a question and you just want to ask right this can be of anything like you can ask me a, a question about the business you can ask me about you know how we run peak physique how we did what we did you can go back and ask me how i really came to america that i didn't come on a boat you know <laughs> i didn't just show up on a boat however i have i know people that actually did that which is absolutely insane but just something that I can help you with because that's what this is all for. I want to direct you and help you and have you being congruent with your mission because that's what happened to me. Again, when I was working in all these different places, being in America before I decided, I almost got depressed. And there was the worst th thing feeling on earth. The Literally, the place that I was working it felt like collapsing on me. And I felt this is not me. This was the worst possible feeling. And if I found someone or a woman that is just feeling like this, I always say you need there's something going on in your life 
that it's totally overwhelming you and you need to step back and see, does this place when you are right now makes you happy? Does these things that happening in your life make you happy? Can you adjust them a little bit? Can you fix your schedule? Can you start exercising? Those are very important things in our life. And if we miss on them, out of nowhere, depression, anxiety kicks in, and you have a miserable life. And life is for us, again, life is for us so we can enjoy it. All right, ladies, I don't want to extend this. This is good. Let me know how you're feeling now. Do you feel a little bit better? Do you feel a little bit more pumped? Post some emojis. I want to see this. Uh, you know, I would love uh, for you to take part in the conversations. Oh, Josephine is saying a little better. Josephine, uh, Diane, Josephine, can I can I pull you out for a second? Or who would like to actually take a moment, like a literally, you know, five minutes talk and say something? Who would just raise your hand? I wanted to see this. Who would like to just take a part in this conversation for a second? No one? Can you hear me? Who would like to say something about their life or struggle, something? Josephine, do you want to say it? Do you want to say something? Come on. Uh, look. Yes, this... I... Okay, awesome. What a particular you want to... What... I mean, what particular thing you want me to focus on? Okay, the particular thing would be, you, you said about your struggle. So just share with everybody, like, when you feel overwhelmed, what's happening? Um, well, I mean, like, when COVID, well, when COVID hit in March, my uh, my job closed down. I work at a children's museum. So obviously, you work with young kids. Every, you know, every museum shut down, well, just like everybody else. So I went back to work for a little while. Um, but then after June 16th, we're a nonprofit. So, you know, we, um, you know, we were laid off. So in that time that I was home for COVID, um, you know, I, I primarily, I did a side business. My art was a side business. I was doing the face painting, but obviously nobody's going to get face painted you yes. know, during COVID. You know, that's like big taboo. Yes. So um, I'm like, what am I going to do? I, I don't have a job. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm on unemployment. And I'm like, you know, the job that I love the most in painting and doing with kids is gone. So, you know, after doing a little research and here and there, I saw people like, okay, you know, I'll start doing, you know, I'm focusing more on my balloon business. And I'm like, hmm, I was doing some balloon twisting, but not like overwhelming. But I'm like, okay, I was kind of like mediocre. I was okay. I never felt confident enough to do it. Okay. Other parties, I really felt confident in my face painting. So um, I started just like watching tutorial after tutorial and taking classes and going on all these Facebook groups and I was like, you know, I'm like, I can do this. And then, you know, I was like, and then I was like, I was just kept making it. I, I went through a lot of balloons, but I just realized I was just getting better and better because I, I had hours and hours of time to sit at home and make all these balloons. And then, so I started then posting on my Facebook page and, you know, it started off with friends who just hired me to do like jobs for the graduations. And then from there, it just kind of people, then I started being able to have pictures to post and yes. people saw them. And then, and that's, you know, so it started to grow from there. So of course, now I'm all excited. I'm like, oh, this is like a whole new thing. Like, it goes, the more I look into it, you could go in so many directions for balloons. Like, decor, balloon twisting. People do uh, uh, weddings and birthdays. I mean, I could just go on and on. It's, it gets overwhelming. It's like, I want to do it all. <laughs> okay, okay. So so that's great. And that's that's what you said. You want to do it all because it's a, for different parties, right? It's for different yeah, parties. I can offer so many services. I can offer, like, all these kind of services. But... It's just me, you know, so it's like, you want, you know, like, so, but how do I, you know, most people hire me for balloon twisting, not like the other stuff, you know, you know, so it's like, you have to really choose where you want to put all your focus in, but, you know, so then how do you, how do you get the word out? Like, hey, I do more than just face painting and balloon twisting. I also do these wonderful, beautiful balloon decorations, like garlands and, you know. Fire okay, so let me ask you a question. We go, we're going actually ahead of the, of the game, but it's good. Do you have an email list? Do you have a, a base of your clients that you can actually send emails to? Do you have that? Well, well, that, that was the thing. I never did when I used to do it. Um, I'm slowly like collecting them now, and I never did that before. So the last, I would say, two months, I've actually, I just kind of like, I got an email, and then I, you know, just didn't put it anywhere. So now I've been collecting it. So I, oh. have, a, I have a lot to pick up for that so okay do you still have that list of this old emails somewhere that you can 
enter it and do it. Still, do you have that I old have list? Some. I have okay. Some. Yeah. Okay, okay so let me ask you a question. How do you collect the leads right now? How, how do I collect my emails? Leads. Yeah, your leads. Like people that might be interested or people that are interested. Well, I, I, have, I have like an on, well, besides through my Facebook page and uh, I have like an online service I do. It's through Thumbtack and they have like people can find you through there. So and they connect with you and then we exchange phone numbers and emails through that way. Okay. Um, have you ever but, done um, anything on uh, building a funnel? and getting the leads through the funnel when you actually have a nice video of yourself doing these fun balloons and showing them and then it's a click on a page people submitting their email they go into the second page there is a maybe a tutorial of you showing little kids how to do balloons mm -hmm. have you ever done anything like this i i've done a, a one or two little videos but I, i'm that whole facebook click no 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 the, the funnel what the funnel is if I, I'm operating a terminology, you creating, you finding a business that can actually do that. There are businesses out there that can direct you to someone oh, or you creating your own funnel and I can show you, I have a funnel, I build a funnel. We've been doing funnels oh, for years. Huh. What it is, it's, but obviously you have to set it up. The best is you can build your funnel. You can hire a company that will do that. They will ask you to build a video for you. For you. you will create a video, first page leading, second page, some kind of a, a information for them. They're gonna People will be clicking on it because it's going to be set it in Facebook. So you're going to be getting leads. They're going to target Facebook audience into uh, people that are in their parties, weddings, uh, kids, that's how the Facebook will be directed. So people will be seeing your advertisement and they can click it. They will not buy anything, but submit information so you can get an awesome tutorial. I don't know for your kids how to do balloons, or maybe I will show you something that you know, because you want to show them something that is of value. Okay. This has to happen on that page. So what happened is the person clicks, you get their email and then it's an autoresponder third party. Uh, I use a Singrid, okay? There is MailChimp. There is other things. You write those emails ahead of time. People click on it and a person gets every, you know, the moment the person clicks on that funnel, they're going to get an email notification. You can write, re record a video and say they get it in the email. Hi, this is Josephine. Thank you for signing up. I would love to tell you more about my business or maybe something else. Those are, or maybe just an email and you send them first, second, third, fourth day. And then they, if they don't do anything with it, if they don't signing up, if they don't talk to you, you send them into a different li li list on leads, not active clients, but so many of them will follow, follow with, and they're going to click on your next link and they're going to purchase the balloons. Then this person going into a different group and this is all set up. It's automation. You got to make your life easier. Imagine if, if we would have done this by calling, like we call every single lead, but imagine if we would have to like find thousands and thousands of people on Facebook. This is all done right. through funnels. Okay. And funnels okay, are, yeah, never. I will send you information. I built funnel. Okay. It tell, let me tell you, this is one more thing. Steve said to me, I will not help you with that funnel. This is yours. It took me five months to figure this damn thing out. So that's why I say from experience, hire someone that will build one funnel for you. You're going to maybe spend a few hundred dollars, but they will set it up. You're going to have an audience. They're going to show you how to do a video. They're going to, they're going to ask you to do these things. You're going to submit just videos, just clips of your artwork, and they're going to put everything in the funnel. And it's all going to set automation and it's going to be easy than what I did. Trust me, I figured this out. That's why I can say from the back end, don't freaking waste your time because I, I, I did it. I am so proud of myself because I'm not computer savvy and I freaking fixed that funnel. I connect. I did integration. When people click, they're going to get an email. I did it all. But don't waste your time. There are people. You got to delegate. You got to find other people do it for you. All right. Because it's not gonna, you're not gonna be wasting time, and I can send you that thing. And if somebody's interested, okay. let me know. And ClickFunnels is really a f franchise, but you can get a two weeks of a Click for free. Mm -hmm. And our, you know, Caesar, Caesar is a, he Caesar has been doing ClickFunnels. He can build for you. Our DJ, 
He's been doing this for yeah. like six, seven months. But if you don't want them, you want someone else, we also have someone else. Mm -hmm. Is that helpful? Do you think that, that you never heard of it, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, the most I've done is like, you know, Facebook advertising and that's, you know, it, you only get so far with that. You don't get, I feel like it's not, not, work, no. not working at all. It's so, almost like, yeah, no, yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I, didn't know, I didn't know about it. Yes, Facebook is really what happens to Facebook. Let me tell you, Facebook is kind of stepping back. It's all about Instagram right now. They're changing the algorithms all the time. Instagram is booming. However, it's very hard to find followers. But there are certain things that you can do for Instagram to kind of boost and people start interacting with you. There are things like that. But YouTube is underestimated. Get yourself out more on YouTube. Get those live shows on YouTube. Uh, if you don't have, you have a YouTube channel. So create yeah, a do, schedule. I don't, I don't use it that much. Create a schedule that you can go on YouTube and start posting those videos on YouTube. Because that's big. YouTube will stay forever. YouTube is there forever. So like Ita wants to do something with her photography. Just start from the scratch because you know what? Somebody, this is what can come out of your thing. Imagine you're going to start posting your live things, I, you know, how you want to do the photography and you're going to have your own YouTube channel. Then somebody else eventually, five years down the road, you are so good with photography. Somebody's finding your YouTube video and say, wow, this lady started like me. You become an inspiration for them. And then they follow you because they want your steps, how you did it. And out of nowhere, you create your own personal school of how to become a photographer. Like, look how things can change in life. So think big, really. This, there is no limit. There is no limit. But that's this page is to help each other. You see how we can help each other? You just learned something so valuable for yourself. And uh, I don't know if, if I don't see um, Paula. But that would be great for Paula. She wants to like improve her ministry. That would be probably something good for her to do as well. Oh, Paula, you are here. Okay. So the, the, the funnels. I'm going to be posting this homework later on. I have to run out right now. But I hope this was helpful. Think about what we can improve and like give me some feedback next week. Okay. And we're going to meet next week and we're going to talk about some other things. Sounds good? All right, girls. Thank you so much for joining me. This was awesome. Thank you, Eliana, for helping me. Thank you, Ita. I can say your name. I thank you, Diane. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you, Paula. I see Tracy. Awesome. Thank, thank you, ladies, you so again much. for meeting me. Thank you. Talk thank to you, you soon. Good Bye. Thanks. No excuses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. No excuses. You heard what I was mm, saying, so... I am, I am happy that you're going to get the information and I will post everything else. If you have any questions, please post it today. Post your comments, suggestions, things like that. And we're going to resume next week. Talk to you soon. Bye.